We do not believe that Lot slept with his daughters. We do not believe that Judah had incest with his daughter-in-law. We do not believe that David was an immoral man. We do not believe that Moses would command the killing of innocent women and children. We do not believe that prophets like Samuel would do anything like that. For example, in the first book of Samuel, uh, chapter 15, verse 3, there is an indication of a genocide. There is a command to commit genocide. We do not believe these are parts of uh, God's revelation, let alone the Torah. So the Torah of Moses once upon a time existed and the Quran confirms some of those parts in the Quranic text itself. Chapter 2 of the Quran, verses 246 to 252. Chapter 5, verses 20 to 26, confirms, don't take my word for it, Go and read the verses. David, I know you know this. Go read them. It recounts the Old Testament injunctions given to Moses, Joshua, David to <clears throat> strike down, to smite the Canaanites, the Amalekites. Though it doesn't mention the groups by name because Muhammad didn't know. In fact, Muhammad was so confused or the author of the Quran was so, cu uh, so confused. Did you know, David, that Saul's name is Talut? in order to make it rhyme with Goliath, Jalut, mm -hmm. Talut and Jalut. And did you know in chapter 5, verses 20 to 26, it recounts Moses telling the Israelites, go and fight. And the Israelites say, no, you and your God go fight those giants. They're too big. And Allah condemning them. So if these Old Testament wars are genocide, you just buried Allah and Muhammad in the pit of hell because Muhammad said these were just wars sanctioned by Allah. And by the way, I don't grant his description of the Old Testament. And I don't grant his misinterpretation of chapter 31, verses 17, 18. So again, I'm just saying for argument's sake, the Quran not only does it reject Genesis, it confirms the stories found in the Pentateuch, as well as in the historical books about these holy expeditions ordered by, according to Muhammad, his own God. Sahil Bukhari, volume four, number 353. This is the end of Adnan Rashid's career as a Muslim apologist, if he's honest to God. He needs to turn to Jesus Christ because his war is against Allah and his messenger. The prophet said, a prophet amongst the prophets carried out a holy military expedition. The Muslim translation, not mine. So he said to his followers, anyone who has married a woman and wants to consummate the marriage and has not done so yet should not accompany me. Nor should a man who has built a house but has not completed its roof, nor a man who has a sheep or she camels and is waiting for the birth of their young ones. So the prophet carried out the expedition, and when he reached the town at the time or nearly at the time of the Asr prayer, he said to the son, O son, you are under Allah's order, and I am under Allah's order. O Allah, stop it, the son from setting. It was stopped till Allah made him victorious. Then he collected the booty, and the fire came to burn it, but it did not burn it. So he said to his men, some of you have stolen something from the booty. So one man from every child should give me a pledge of allegiance by shaking hands with me. They did so, and the hand of the man got stuck over the hand of the prophet. Then the prophet said to the man, the theft has been committed by your people. So all the persons of your tribe should give me the pledge of allegiance by shaking hands with me. The hands of two or three men got stuck over the hand of their prophet. He said, you have committed the theft. Then they brought a head of gold like the head of a cow and put it there. And the fire came and consumed the booty. The prophet added, then Allah saw our weakness and disability. So he made booty legal for us. Guys, Muhammad in Bukhari just confirmed Deuteronomy chapter 20 verses 1 to 9. Just confirmed Joshua's expeditions in the book of Joshua against I and the king of Jerusalem, which you can find in Joshua chapter 7 and chapter 10. But David, last time I checked, Weren't these the same injunctions to wipe out the Canaanites? Mm -hmm. And Muhammad just called that a holy expedition? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yep. Bye bye, Adnan. Your career is over. Boom, um, and the Muslims around the world, they have absolutely no respect for the words of their God and the words of their prophet on this issue. Yeah, but David, you don't get it. See, I got to help you here. Mm -hmm. The Quran was designed to be the most eloquently unclear book in order to allow Muslims to explain its meaning. What's wrong with you, Catholic? Yeah.